Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms, the new Fates Divided DLC as Tartal. So we've won our wars over in the east pretty convincingly. Um, we have forces mobilized on the southern border with some actually pretty decent armies and some very top end generals here. Tartal's army, of course, that has uh, a one man army crusher himself. Uh, we've got Zhang Liao here with some really good soldiers in this force. Um, over here we have Zhang Ba with a really top end uh, army as well. And of course we have the new army under Tao Pi with Wei Yan and Guo Jia. This is going to be a very, very strong army too, though they are pretty much untested. The question is, who is the better leader? Reinforcement range is good. You don't necessarily need it, do you? Morale... Morale is always useful. We'll keep it with morale. Over here, uh, we have Shahudun. Um, his army needs to be built out a little bit. And we have the new army under Xu Huang with Jia Xu and Chong Yu Chong, who is there. Hopefully, he's going to die of old age soon. But uh, we just wanted these troops in this force. Um, we also have Tao Zhang here, and he is going to be recruiting his own force as well. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a lot of armies in the area. Down here we are at war with Liu Zhang. Um, we have Yu Jin's forces just arrived on the scene and Cao Ren suffered the betrayal of Hua Xin. We've thrown in Gao Rou into this army. He's pretty good, I think. They're going to take a turn or two to replenish themselves. Yu Jin is probably going to go over to Jiameng Pass, I think. Um, take that <coughs> uh, pass settlement there. And... We have a large army waiting for us. Now, this army actually doesn't have too many of his good troops. He only has the one unit of Dongjo being marksmen, which does surprise me. He has so much militia. So we'll slaughter that army if it comes to battle. But here, here is the key. Down here, we have Liu Bei himself. This army is actually probably slightly better than Liu Zhang's army. More of the Dongjo being defenders who are really quite good. <clears throat> um, I... I can foresee us having a proper fight if this army gets kitted out. We'll win, of course, because two strategists always mean easy wins. Um, and, of course, Liu Bei doesn't have a good victory record against us. We will smash him into oblivion. No problem at all. Um, I wonder if he's still at war with people down in the south as well, Liu Zhang. Let's just check that out. Uh, no, he's just at war with us. Just at war with us. He's trading with Shu Huang. That's not going to help him. So um, we can smash all the way down here, hopefully take the whole of Shu, um, well, Ijo, we should say, um, at least the majority of it, Junglu, we're not at war with. But we take this, and um, that's going to put us on the border with the yellow turbans, who are obviously not going to like us very much. We're going to leave some people there, of course. May just declare war on them straight away, because we're not really going to suffer any negatives from it. Um, but the big key is actually Liu Biao and the King of Wu. Now, Liu Biao cannot declare himself emperor, but Sun Tzu has declared himself emperor whilst the reigning Han emperor is still under our protection. Therefore, we need to deal with him. Over here, Ma Tung and Han Sui seem to be relatively all right with us. You see this? And you see this? So, hopefully, just having a couple of armies knocking about here is going to be enough to deter them from doing anything silly. We'll see, though. We'll see. Um... You never know with Ma Tung. Especially if Ma Chao comes to the fore, that could really start to play against us. On this side, minus 25% satisfaction. Okay. Um, hmm. Shu Xie, who do you have? Tui Yan, you have? I suppose we could go for Tui Yan, but I don't think we need him. No, nobody's needed there. Liu Zhang, do you have anyone interesting? Not really, that we want. Gong Sun Du, no. Uh, Zhang Yan, we know we've already taken a hostage as well, uh, his son. So he should be relatively under control. We don't need to upset him too much. So, uh, there's just nobody, nobody that fascinating here. Tell me, if they have Tuan though, if they have Tuan, then we're going all out for Tuan. Um, because that would just be incredible to have him on the field with us. No, there's nothing there that really works for us. Wolf provokes the chickens. Not necessary. Faction. <clears throat> now, I did want to 
smash his food supply. So let's smash his food supply. Awesome. Let's move on. And see what the game has to throw at us. In of all, we are trying to provoke into attacking us. We, of course, married Talpi to Sunren. Um, who knows if he will actually... Ooh, Yu Jiang has another army. Who knows if he will actually uh, come and attack us? I'm sort of hoping he does. We do have a um, few turns left on our agreement. Probably, you know, eight or nine turns left on our agreement. So, I don't want to break it. They're at war again. That works for us. Okay. So, Tai. Sun for Tauren. Excellent. Um, Developments. Malang Ho Yin Ho Shan. Assignments. All of those people are coming back. And Eugene has gone up. Magnificent. That's tenacity. Your steel, my friend. Because um, he is going to be a monster in battle now with those swords. We also have an upgrade over here. Uh, who is it? This Chai Juan one. Well, you're potentially a very solid administrator. So we'll put you there. Right. So, you, my man, you're going to advance all the way over here. Top speed. We're burning through supplies, so we need to be quick. You're going to take another turn to replenish before we continue our assault. This army here, what does it consist of? Nothing really threatening. Zhu Gui, Wang Lei. Hmm. Yeah, nothing particularly threatening. We should be all right in dealing with that. Uh, we do want to have a look at the old assignments because we need cash coming in big time. Luoyang assignment. Uh, Luoyang is... <sighs> Peasantry is going well. Industry and commerce potentially. Do we have better options though? Finan. Uh, Finan is all industry though. But Dong is commerce. But Dong has commerce running anyway. We can throw in. It does have industry. If we have a split, we're in there. But we must have better places really our commerce is this dog shit we need to work on this Taiyuan's industry though this is something their corruption is so high slam that corruption that's going to give us a decent benefit no matter what we want to save up so we can take that territory but that's going to be a long long time uh do we have anything that we can upgrade over here in the meantime though just to bring in some extra cash I think we do a 75 income from commerce increase our trade i think that will work and dong yeah that'll do <clears throat> that'll do that'll do spending a little bit of money but it's fine um here we do want to switch for proper archers we'll do another one next turn all right let's continue He's not going to declare war now unless he's really stupid or desperate. Just because Liu Biao is at war with him again. Liu Biao can probably match him in size of military. Though, of course... Um, actually, no, thinking about it. I was going to say Liu Biao doesn't really have the generals. But he does. At this stage, he still has. Uh, uh, Okie dokie. Um, he does have some, some talented generals. He's got Gan Ning right there. I think he still has Huang Zhong as well. Looters are destroyed. No problem. He's joined us. Fate of the Emperor. We shall continue as Prime Minister. That is our aim uh, so far. Actually destroyed. Yes, we know that. Diplomacy and series gained a herdsman. Traits gained. Wei Yan is honest. Okay. Uh, Zhang Fang has upped his game. Not necessary for you. Night battles potentially useful. Nature's ally is good. Dignity. Not necessary. Because of course he was a faction. Uh, actually, I'll go across here. 
he is the Prince of Black Mountain. He was a faction heir, so it was going to suit him to go down that path, but now he works for me, so it does not. Right, they've pulled back. Let's go in. Let's take the pass. Decisive victory, it says. Uh, do you know if it says decisive victory with low casualties? We'll just take it. I do like my past battles, but that should be straightforward. Ten Imperial favor. Taken. Oath sworn. Guan Yu and Yu Jin. Fantastic. And we've taken Jia Meng Pass. We have an upgrade here for Chong Yu. Almost got the fire arrows that we so desperately need. As, far as followers go, do we have anything here? Not really. You. Do you want a... Do you want a wedge formation? Just give him a little bit of extra resolve more than anything else. Um, Alright. Then... Uh, Torren. No, you have something, don't you? Torpedu, you do not. Here, I can give you this for now. It's just going to make you slightly better. And Sillaries, we have nothing, I'm afraid. My man, absolutely nothing. God, we're burning through cash. Um, hmm. Panxin, potentially useful. Chonggong Ying in Liu Biao's faction. Uh, I don't think we need... But Han Xin, just to keep an eye on what's going on up there, probably worth our while. Lot of money, but probably worth our while. Get some more intelligence from the northern areas. Why is our money so bad? Uh, well, what can you do? What can you do? Hopefully we'll get some more money through the wars down here. So Tyrone will be able to take the war. Call for aid. Yeah, go on in. Ma Tung's declared war. I said we couldn't trust him. And you're coming up as well. You want to fight. Okay. Well, Yu Jin is very nearby. We have Xu Huang, who is nearby. Tao Zhang doesn't have the troops. But this is going to give us access to a decent uh, potential trading area. Kind versus cruel. As you meditate, you ruminate on the nature of society. You know you're, uh, you know of administrators who are benevolent and compassionate, and that people love them for it. Yet others are cruel and barbaric. The people hate them, but they do not rebel out of fear. Can there ever be a right option? Well, historically, we would never go with Kong Rong. But... Hmm. I think we shall with this. <clears throat> I think we shall. Rivals... Character developments, Yi Xian, Dong Hua, mm. series gained a stone archer, traits gained, understanding. Fine, you can be understanding. You, my man, are going to shift over here. And sit tight. You, you'll come in here and you're going to drop into an ambush position. On this side, I think you can... Just pop yourself straight into the water and straight over here and start to march over here. He doesn't have a huge amount of land, but he does have land. He's trending down too. Huh. Uh, military access. Good. Give me military access. Give me money for the pleasure of me sending my armies over your lands to smash Ma Tung. There we go. He's trading with Ma Tung, so he's not going to like what I'm about to do, but there's not much he can do about it. Shu Xie, Jiang Meng, all of these guys want it. Uh, military access, Shu Huang, okay. Great vassal, Shu Xie, potentially. Hmm. There's work to be done there. We need to sort out our assignments. Uh, Luoyang. I wish she would stay open when that happened. So Luoyang, we're going to punt. Do they have a split? No. No. You do. An annual commerce and industry. So you can jump straight in there. Huainan should be industry. 
on its own. So where are you? Bien, you can just run in there and do industry. Uh, Dong is industry two. Dong is commerce. We want a shower. You can go in to do commerce. Um, Taiyuan's industry. Now that Taiyuan's gone up in one industry, though. Hmm. Go on. Off you truck. Sort that out for us. There we go. Done. All right. We're in position here. We have some of this stuff. Don't need that. Random ancillary. I don't have the money. Character married. I get a little bit of gold together. That's not a bad shout. Actually, that's not a bad shout. Uh, Lubiao, how are you doing? You want some food? I can Meow. give you food. Here. I can give you five. And I'd like some regular payments and some hard cash payments as well. Unless this can just keep ticking like this for a long time. Oh, wow. You're making coin. Jesus. All right. <laughs> okay. We can solve this. This is good money. We'll take that. I'm obliged to your kindness. You've got minus two. It's probably not worth it. You've got so much. Tri Huang's okay. Il Jiang's a dead man waiting. You've got tons of food. You're very poor. So, um, offer food. Same deal. Five food. You can get a lot here. Press regular payments. You're equal. So you've got no food, but you might have an income though. Uh, sorry, no money, but you might have an income. Not great. There. That's your cutoff point. So cash me up with some of this, please. It's not bad. Good man. Mulu Shamoka, they can all do one. You're low, but we'll worry about you later. You. You. Let's give you enough here. Uh, do you have any ancillaries? Nope. Okay. Uh, quest regular payments. You've only got a little bit of coin. So we can't expect too much. You are a vassal as well. Make payment. Quest payment. And we'll bring in some coin from this way as well. We don't mind if it goes slightly in your favor just to keep you happy. Or just too much. There we go. Made it absolutely equal. So <coughs> that'll work for us quite nicely. You're good. You're good. We don't really care about you anyway. And you're you're so rich. Jiang <laughs> Mi, um, though. You're a coalition buddy. You're fighting a war. So let's send you. Oh, that's cockle. We'll sod you for a brick. There you go. Off you go. Don't care about you. There we go. We've got some coin now. Um, what did you say? Arrange retainer's marriage. Select. Done. Do that stuff. Gan Shan Hui. Yeah. Hopefully she's good. Um, we don't know. Purely intrigue. We're absolutely fine for that. Okay. Fine. Uh, anything I want here? Eyes and ears within. Let's work over. He, his people like him so much. That's the problem. You. You have nobody I want. That's the problem. Absolutely nobody I want. Relative above stranger. I don't need that. Do I want to play? I do. Keep my vassal happy with me. Because he is potentially quite warlike. All right, that's a nice bit of politicking done. Um, now we were beelining for administrative, uh, yeah, administrative positions. 
So we'll have that soon enough. Then, who is our son's wife? Eh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Seem better. Okay. Fair enough. We'll live with that, though. We'll live with that. Ah, tongue. My tongue's army strength is going to be the interesting thing. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. I was trying to keep Liu Bei away from uh, Guan Yu. Just in case, you know, just in case. So Cao Ren. Uh, let's accept that. Shi Hui has been a good general for me in past campaigns. So I have no problem with that at all. Okay. Uh, okay. Character developments. Xing P not needed. Engineer though. Ooh. Engineer. Todd Jung, I have. Ah, no, of course. You need better than that. Hmm. Hmm. You can have that, and then we'll give the other one to Cao Pi, because that'll be more useful for him. All right, off we run. Okay, we're about to be attacked down here. So, get back in as a reserve force. You are going to try and draw... Little bay away. Advance down here. Let's see if they come to attack us. Uh, Wang Lang. Yeah, go on. Keep going over here. Good man. We've got serious coin now. That is nice to see. That means you. We can switch for a decent archer. Hmm. Yeah, we need to be a couple of levels up before we can get the really good cavalry for him. That's the thing. So, in the meantime, do we just make do with Northern Lancers? Yeah, we do. And we want a... Oh, Sun Ren, though. Sun Ren, Cao Zhang. What do we think? Shove her in this army? Yeah. And then Chen Dong. Go on, you can have your wife in here as well. There we go. That'll work out. So we've got you're just mounted archers. Potentially not the best we could have. And potentially quite expensive. And we are gonna get better units than that later. You can be switched to them, and you can be switched to them as well. Um, ooh, what do I want for you? I think... You know what? I think we'll leave it as it is. I think we'll leave it as it is for that. That will do nicely. For now, they can hold there. Okay. Let's go. Is he going to advance or is he going to sit there doing nothing? There you come. Oh, you're not turning. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Tal P can go test his metal against him then. Hmm. Yep. Let's make a massive coalition against the Kingdom of Wall. I like this. Sun Tzu has followed in the folly of uh, Yuan Shu and declared himself emperor too early. Now everyone's forming a coalition against him. Fantastic. The smiths in your forges toil day in and day out supplying your army. On this occasion, an item of considerable quality is produced, such that the smith responsible now comes bearing said item to you as a gift. Excellent. Character vermins. Nope, we don't need her. Oath sworn. Excellent. And forest skin, eh? Here. Have that. 
That'll do. Lady Bien, you're going up, are you? Well, you can go across here. And who else? Ah, one of my generals. Ooh, Zhang Liao. Magnificent. Six. Six left. So, avoid ambush is good. Don't need that. There. That'll do. Okay. So, we have problems over here. Can we get close enough to ruin their day? We absolutely can, so we should. We're not leaving him on his own. On this front, you... Changing the seasons, minus 50 movement range. Charge bonus or knacker morale? Knacker their morale because they are mostly militia. So that's going to hurt them. Hit. Decisive defeat, they say. I think this could be quite interesting. This could be really quite interesting. You're quite weak. This army here, it's smarting. Hmm. Can they hold? See, the problem is that he is hurt. Him doesn't matter so much. He is hurt. Go on, let's fight this. I'll see you in the fight. Okay. <clears throat> so the big test is, will we still have Guan Yu after this? I imagine we should, because Liu Bei doesn't have his own faction. But, um, I don't know that for a fact. If we set up here, we've got some trees that we can potentially burn. However, if we set up over here, we can hide in the trees and burn them. Mm, set up over here. So we don't have uh, arrows that can burn. So, let's have you boys here like that. And we're going to flank with walls of spears. <clears throat> little bit closer, a little bit too close. There we go. There we go. That's almost no different to what it was when I first did it. Anyway, um, have you chaps right in the middle. Have you guys on one flank? Have you guys on another? Do you know what? Sod this for a laugh. There. You guys all take the middle ground there. That'll hold. Um, you're behind flaming shot set up right there. Um, okay. Saber, shield wall here. Saber, shield wall here. You'll sit at the back. Um, one, two. They're going to be hiding off over here with you. You boys are going to go have a little bit of a walk. You're sitting tight. You and you are going to be up front. Let's have a quick look at these people whilst we're here because we've now got them. So here we have the Northern Mounted Archers. As you can see, they have a spear on their back. They have bows, arrows, medium armor. Horses, apart from the bloke with a flag, um, is unarmored for speed. Um, so yeah, I think uh, a fun little unit there. Haven't forgotten anyone, I don't think. Nope. So you already, you I am going to have on bugger off mode. Magnificent. Right, let's sucker these fools into a scrap. Doesn't want a jewel, doesn't want a jewel, not visible. Oh, the, it would be epic if I could get Guan Yu to jewel. <laughs> Liu Bei. That would be awesome. Come on, lads, up you come. I could do with you, you're my cannon fodder. Alright, let's advance. What is the range on our thing? Range finishes here, so we need to drag units this far. Or we need to advance so far. Hmm. Well. I could advance. I have no problem with advancing a bit, actually. Let's creep forward here. 
And then you boys take that off, take guard mode off. You boys can come up here. All right. Liu Bei potentially is up for a duel with Guan Yu. That could be fun. That could be fun. Come on, let's see if we can annihilate some of their cavalry early doors. Uh, one, two, three. Boys, I need you over here. Go on, Northern Horse Archers, you can come up here too. All right. Come on, get over here. We could smash Fa Jung. He's quite good, Fa Jung. Um, he's a little bit like a cross between a sent, you know, like Shushia, like a cross between a sentinel and a strategist in how he's kitted out. Who are you? You're Jung Song, okay. Sword guard cavalry, a decent cav, decent cav. None of you want to play? Come on. There's a silly unit of cavalry. Ride, boys, ride. Where's my cav? My cav coming into position? Almost. They're almost there. These guys are all advancing now because they think they've got reinforcements. Come on, come this way. Lads, you're going to advance here. You boys take positions here. You are in position. Nice. Flaming shot is up and ready. Butcher them. Butcher them. Kill, 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 kill. Straight up here, please, boys. Have we caught them? Not really. Bloody hell. There we go. There we go. Shoot and kill anything that comes this way. Ready, lads. Go. Advance up here. And... Go. Take them. Take them. Go, go, go. Charge. You're going to round up. You know what? Come over here. You boys, back out of this. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Spinny. Bash. Right, no more wedge. Good job. Absolutely crumbled them. Absolutely crushed them. All right. Lads, you're going to stay in this fight. You'll chase them off. We're smashing their cav over here. Kill them. Kill them, kill them, kill them. You, nice move, but over here, please, now. Over here. Smash the crap out of them. You lot are moving so slowly. Um, one, two. I need two lots of archers here. I want you boys right there. You guys can come over here. Hold this flank. You guys are going to hold this flank. Two, three, four. Rear reserve. Over here. That'll do. Get to position. Come on, lads. Back out. Over here. You boys, come on. Back, 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 back. Too far, too far, too far. Too far. Cavalry reform. Reform over on this flank. Thank you. All the way, boys. John, you two can come over this way, though. There's some militia that just needs to die. Kill. Kill. You get them. You get them. You boys are coming over here. And you boys are coming all the way down. Smash them. Absolutely <laughs> ruin these people. Because their morale has been pasted. Go on. Kill, 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 kill. Is this hit going to work? We're in trees. They're back to us. Oh, yes. That's a hit. Right, break off that. We don't need that anymore. How have we done? Have we dealt with them yet? Good. Kill, kill, kill. You two back this way. Excellent job. Go, go, go. Ride. 
Ride, ride, ride. Come on. Come on. Come on. Down this way. Everybody this way. Everybody this way. Pull their horses away. You lads. Excellent job. I right, get them. Come on. Ride straight through here. You boys. Arrows in the back. Fight them here. We're holding this flank. These guys tried to flank. Let's go around. Hit. You're going to get to position. You and you, though, can go around and hit. That should deal with them. You, crossbows. What about you? Get over here. Get over here. How are we doing? They're dead. Awesome. You're fighting there. Great. Back. Back you come. Back you come. Come on. Let's have these people dead. Right. Uh, kill him. Kill him. Do it, do it, do it. You lads, no pissing about now. Just get in there, finish the job. Come on, Cav, I need you back over here. You've done a great job. But, over here, kill. And, they just have too many people over here. Come on, you get back to the lines now. You're too badly hurt. Go, ride. See if Guan Yu can take out Liu Zhang. He's making a little bit of a stand, is old Liu Zhang, but he doesn't stand that much of a chance, really. They caught you? Well, smash them. How are we here? Do we have these guys yet? Not quite. You're coming back. You're coming back here. Take this position. We're taking shots on this front, but we're still holding. That's what matters. They are breaking. You chaps going to come over here as well. You and you coming over here. Can we rain some death, please, boys? Excellent job. Right, you can get out of there now. Let's go. Let's go. Good boys. Over here. Liu Bei wants to scrap, so let's deal with him. Get over here, Guan Yu. And deal. 12k. Not ideal. Not ideal. Come on, rain some death. Rain some death. Charge. Lads. Chase them off. We don't need them coming back. And you're just dribbler units, so it doesn't matter too much. Come on. You're getting out of there, though. You can stay. Go over there and help them. Let's bring back all of our cavalry. Bring them all back. We're holding all right over here. We're holding all right. You are gonna have to deal with those archers you're gonna deal with them you boys come over here form you lads chuck yourselves into this fight hold position we've got that right you have got to have him down right rain death on them <clears throat> right so our, our tiger cubs are winning that fight which is quite nice you two get in there you're there for the anti-cav. You may as well join the party. Excellent job. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You're staying here. You, you, and you. You come down here and deal with them. All right. Charge. Charge. Extricate yourselves. Charge. Junk. Round this side, please. And in. Nicely done. You can come back over here now. You can deal with them. How are we doing here? Uh, it's a tight fight. It's a tight fight. No getting away from that. That's quite tight. Um, no, stay on them. You two. Number one, go kill. Number two, go kill. There. 
And we're still holding here. They're avoiding our northern... Go on, you... Stay here. You boys, how are we feeling? Go hide over here. Come on. Move, 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 move. Faster. All right. They've been smashed. Back over here. Back over here. Chase them down in our own time. All right. You're in formation. You can now advance over there. You boys start moving forward. Move forward like the old guard in a Napoleonic battle. Now the battle has been won. You move forward. Guan Yu, shift your ass over here. Support that line. You lads are going forward as well. Let's do this now. Charge. You two. In here, charge. See them off. They're done. Get over here. Cav has smashed in here. Good job. You're going to smash in over here and finish them off. This cavalry is now ready to smash in over here. You boys can begin to advance as well. We'll take this off. And you're coming in to smash them. Charge. Charge. Advance. Up here. Go. Go, lads, go. Advance, advance, advance. Kill them. How dare they turn to face us. Get in here, you boys. Get in here too. You, you. Form here. To support, you're still chasing them. Excellent job. Absolutely brilliant job. Keep swinging. And keep swinging. Go, go, go. Out of formation. Forward. You. Forward. You boys, over here. You guys. Break formation. Get stuck in. It's now time for the killers. We've let our low quality troops deal with the brunt of this. But we now we can absolutely smash with our with our top quality infantry. Boys, go, go, go. How are you? Spinny shit. They're still holding. Can't be having that. Let's have a charge. Break formation. Get in here. They're dealt with 8.3k. You've done really well to hold this long, I have to say. Nice job. Chase them. You lads coming over here. You boys are chasing them. You lads coming in over here. You lads coming in over here. You're coming in over here. Fine. Definitely a victory for us. Definitely a victory. I need you over here. Jan Sword Guard. It's going to be a tough one. Tough ask, but I need it. I need them dead. Uh, bring down Fa Jung. You. Gank. Alright. Now it is merely a case of chasing down the stragglers. You're going to get in there and chase them down. You're chasing them. You lads are going after them. Let's break them. <clears throat> Victory is ours. So much for decisive defeat. I think that was pretty straightforward. Our army is in pretty good nick as well. We managed to take the hit with just one flank. Um, I mean, as you can see, actually, the bulk of our troops were fine. It was our reinforcements that took most of the hit there. Very nicely done. Yeah, these guys got smashed, which was the idea. Liu Bei, oh dear. God, that's a shame. Um, yeah, we'll have you. We'll have you. And we'll have you. I think that's a heroic victory. Shuangu <laughs> Jian. Relationship lost, sieges and blockades. Now I wonder who could have the Shuang Jian. Would you like some Shuang Jian? There you are. Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was a crushing victory, don't you? Let's go finish the job. Let's go finish the job. Yes. 
there. <clears throat> that was an awesome, awesome victory. Could not have gone better. And uh, I think he's still quite happy with us, which is the best thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. We have executed the traitor Liu Bei. All is well in the world. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.